thank you all for being at our Secrets of Good Pools rendezvous. The magazine that explains everything you always wanted to know about pools but never dared to ask. If you're the happy owner of a pool or you're planning to have one built, this program is for you. Today's theme, how to choose a pool cleaner. An abrasive subject. Keeping your pool clean isn't only essential to your pleasure and well-being, but also to water quality. Your pool must be serviced regularly. Of course, you can always do this by hand using a suction brush connected to the famous brush socket. It's effective, cheap, but over time becomes quite tedious. Especially considering that today, depending on your budget, the size of your pool and its coating, you have a wide choice of pool cleaners to rid you of this painstaking chore. They come in three main families. First family, suction cleaners. They are very easy to use. Just connect them to the broom suction socket or the skimmer. Using the pump's power, the cleaner can suck in all debris, which is then collected by the pool filter. The filter should therefore be checked regularly. How does it work? Suction cleaners have no motor. It's the pool filter pump that drives everything. By sucking in the water, it makes it possible for the cleaner to carry out three functions. Cleaning, moving, and possibly changing direction. There are two types of suction robot. Skirted cleaners. You have almost certainly already seen these. They move forward in a jolting fashion, making characteristic beating noises, and their movements are random. These cleaners are suitable for small and simple shaped pools, especially for above ground pools. Turbine cleaners are more complex and therefore slightly more expensive. They offer more complex and quicker coverage of the pool bottom thanks to their program movement system that lets them go everywhere. Currently, turbine robots are undoubtedly the best quality efficiency for money solution for standard sized pools. Moving on to the second family. These are pressure cleaners. They are called pressure cleaners because as opposed to suction cleaners, they are connected to a discharging brush socket. This means that the water coming from the filter is discharged by the pump into the cleaner. How does it work? You might be asking yourself, how can you suck in debris by pumping out water? It's quite simple, really. When you reduce the diameter of a pipe, the water speed is increased, thus generating suction. It's called the Venturi effect. This is the effect that's used in pressure cleaners. Thanks to the suction, the cleaner is going to be able to clean the pool like a vacuum cleaner. The debris is collected in a bag that needs to be emptied regularly so that the cleaner stays efficient. You should know that most pressure cleaners require an additional pump called a booster. As for how it moves around, the method is similar to turbine cleaners and guarantees good pool coverage. Pressure cleaners can be used in most in-ground pools, including large ones. In the long run, although this system is very effective, it has the disadvantage of being a high energy consumer and needs a specific installation. You will really know everything about cleaning solutions once I presented the third and last family, the electric cleaners. Electric cleaners are autonomous and are not connected to the pool's hydraulic system. They are simply connected to an electric socket. They are fitted with one or more low voltage motors and therefore are completely safe to use. How does it work? The cleaner is fitted with a turbine that sucks water in through filtering panels that trap the debris. The water thus filtered is released directly back into the pool. In terms of movement, electric cleaners have better performances with excellent pool coverage. Some models can even be programmed. Even if their price is sometimes quite high, electric cleaners have a triple advantage. They are very easy to use. You just immerse them in the pool, they are easy to maintain. Just clean the filter panels. And finally, they consume little electricity. Suitable for any type of configuration, electric cleaners are especially recommended for large or complex shaped pools. They also have the advantage of cleaning the pool sides. Does laziness drive the world? I would be tempted to say yes, considering the number of questions about cleaners. Joking aside, Jen from Chelsea is worried. She wants to know if an electric robot is dangerous in water. Don't worry, Jen. The current used is very low voltage safety current, so there are no risks involved. 
You should nevertheless make sure that the electric socket you plug your cleaner into is always at least 3.5 meters from the pool. Elizabeth from Cardiff comes straight to the point. Is there a cleaner where you don't have to do anything at all? Elizabeth, your systematic quest for relaxation does you proud. However, I'm going to disappoint you. Such a cleaner doesn't exist. You will always at least have to put it in the water and take it out from time to time to clean it. I know life is hard. Katie from Manchester doesn't want to be unnecessarily over-equipped. She wants to know if she really has to have a cleaner. No, Katie, you don't have to have a cleaner. However, experience shows that after the enthusiasm of the early days, manual cleaning quickly becomes a very boring chore and that's when the cleaner issue takes on its full meaning. John from Brighton wants to be sure. Can I use my cleaner to clean the pool after wintering? Optimistic, John. Such a thing would be pleasant. Unfortunately, I strongly advise against this. The first clean before the season must be manual. Otherwise, you'll get the cleaner very dirty. It's designed for daily cleaning and not a big spring clean operation. Simon from Derby is undermined by doubt. Can I bathe in the pool when the cleaner is operating? It's very good to be careful, Simon. Whatever type of cleaner you use, you should never bathe when it's running. This is an elementary safety precaution. Julia from London is irritated because however regularly she uses her cleaner, the traces at her waterline remain. She wants to know what to do about it. Impetuous Julia, no cleaners clean the waterline perfectly. Why not just try magic? There are special products and magic sponges designed to do this. So why not use them? So, suction, pressure or electric? Whatever your choice of cleaner, Haywood, the world leader in filtering and comfort equipment, offers you the best of each technology. To combine fun bathing with savings and the protection of the environment. You can find the complete description of Haywood products, analyses, advice and seasonal questions on www.haywood.fr. Goodbye, we'll meet again soon to share the secrets of a good pool together. See you swimmers.